hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here you're highly welcome my name is kamatu but you can call me kamatu p thank you so so much for clicking so in today's video as you saw by the title and the thumbnail we'll be talking about cultural shock i think by this time it's no news that i'm actually in china due to my videos that i've been posting so i'm in china and i decided to do some sit down videos so i'm with a special friend of mine so we'll be talking today about cultural shock and some things i found out about china that is so so interesting and funny that i i really find funny so that's why we have a special guest on this channel to help me navigate some things that were shocking to me okay so before we head into the video i'll leave him to introduce himself and then then we we'll get into the video all right my name is daniel and i'm so excited to be with you guys on this special channel okay <laughs> thank you so much for joining us Most so this welcome. is also my second guest on this channel so if you guys don't know he's a Ghanaian. he's living in china he's a student so he has been here for like five years i think more than five years okay like more yeah. than five years close to six years now. Yeah, so he yeah. has experience <coughs> like i can say now he's having the masters in master <laughs> master lies in china <laughs> okay. we try to try we to. try to yeah we try to learn okay. some few chinese yeah. i'll be leaving his link in my description box make sure you check it out he has a facebook page where he preaches the word Thank to you. bring you guys closer to god <laughs> it's amazing as a young guy but preaching the word of god mm -hmm. or ministering the word of god okay That's so right. before wasting your time let's get right into the video okay. one of the first thing i'm going to say before i even waste anyone's time is the, the electric bike yes the electric, the electric bikes, bikes in china yeah. here yeah. <coughs> eh? Sorry. me people learn i don't want to see this even as alone i don't want to see <laughs> I, like okay germany is out of it like in in west africa alone i know in nigeria they have um okada and in our countries we have okada but well, this one is not even Okada. They they have bikes, electric bikes. Like these people are too much. Like there are so many in China. China population is too much, first of all. And everyone you see has a bike. And it's not just the bike, it's the way they move around with these bikes. That's right. Like my head, anytime I go outside, not just the hot. That one I'll come to it later. Mm. It's the way they move around with their bikes. Like it mm. is so crazy. Like behind your back, like you, you'll be walking on the the streets, the footpath, yeah. and you'll just be here, pom pom pom. Sh -sh 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 -sh. Yeah. They will be talking behind you, be like, give way. They can even pass under your armpits, like if there is space. Yeah, that's right. Like it, <laughs> it was a shock for me. If I go out now, because literally he's like my tour guide. Okay. <laughs> so if i'm going out like i'll just be holding him like please hold me like i'm so 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 scared so what do you think about that coming here um as a first time i'm coming straight from ghana and yeah. what was your shock yeah my shock was um the system their food the food i really had problems with the food I just, yes i think I just it took me it took me like three months mm -hmm before i was able to eat food. yes yes this. so what was the first one you ate the first one was uh, i think was some tomato sauce without pepper mm. with onion with a soup that is like when they told me it was soup i, I told me this in africa we have you know our soup is a bit colorful and it has mm -hmm. more sauces like you know mm -hmm. but this one was actually water water with tomatoes with eggs <laughs> with oil and hot so and it's like everybody in the canteen goes for this the soup is free so i was i was really sure i'm like so this is what you people are drinking you call this soup really i think I have that's that actually the soup i have that video there like, you have the video it was i oh was my God. for it it was it was, it was bad. bad yeah oh bad. yeah i can relate bad. yeah mm -hmm. at that very moment i just wish i was in ghana Oh. Yeah. So for me, I don't think I'll even try it because mm. no need. Describing it now is like I'm scared. Yeah. I don't want to disrespect people's culture, but of course. At the same time, I don't want to kill myself. Yeah. <laughs> because I don't want to die early. And also with their system honking, <laughs> honking what the bike, like oh, the yeah. electric bike moving up and down, and uh, you know the Chinese people have a certain kind of culture. When they wake up in the morning. Mm. the first thing they think about is making money 
Mm -hmm. And so that their bikes, mm -hmm. they just are in haste moving from one point to the other because of money. Mm -hmm. Especially the delivery guys. If you joke with them on the way, mm -hmm. <laughs> they are just going to hit you. And then, oh! And, and here, when you are hit on the on the ground, you have to. I mean, it's not a good thing because you might not survive. When they hit you, yes, you wear the right things mm, now. Mm, yeah, you might not survive if mm. there is no taking because everybody, everybody is just moving, they will just be doing their own stuff, and then unless the police and then the police will come and call. take care yeah, of you. Yeah, okay, yeah. so that was also a cultural shock for you, like the bike and the food. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. it took you some time to touch or integrate well into the society. Yeah, and even it was not like even now i'm still struggling with some of these spices Up to now, after yes. five years. but now at least i know the few ones i want to eat mm -hmm. and now i know that if i, if I go to the market you know. if i go to the restaurant i know the ones i want to eat so yeah, i'll point and say jiga, jiga, naga, naga, jiga. you learned it the hard way uh -huh, so <laughs> i can't i can see for that because i am after, uh, enjoying my stay because of him yeah. because he's actually showing me or telling me what i should eat that will not make yeah. me die before my time so i think I think I trust yeah. I trust you um, and another thing I realized um, during my cultural shock experience like when you are buying food and you meet a Chinese person there and you ask the person is this food nice and he or she tells you how she how she like it is nice please don't try it eh? <laughs> So it's because, like all nice. It's yes, all nice. I, I have, I have not. I'm not the only person saying this. A lot of people can attest to that fact that you, you say it's nice, mm -hmm. but if you try it, it's the worst. It's the no. I don't know what's in the, what's on their tongue, and I don't know. It's because they are born here, they don't know the difference. Yes, they will actually tell you this is very nice. It's really nice. It's really nice. Don't try. It. Don't, don't fall for it. <laughs> don't fall for it. And most of the food, they are just. It's colorful, so if mm -hmm. you're not careful, you, you go by. Yes, I think that was that was what 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 Most led. Most African yes, stuff yes, yeah. they are doing. It's the same for me too. When I went to Germany, <laughs> I was just following the picture. If I go to the restaurant now, and I'll just look at the picture, I'm like, oh, that's nice. It looks like a lot of white rice. I'm like, yeah. I'll take it. And then when I go home, oh god, you should taste it before. <laughs> not a funny reaction I yeah. will get, but all in all, we learn things that's how it is that's how it's supposed to be you learn the hard way and then you learn and you know repeat it again so another thing i want us to come to is the weather yeah the weather for me is not just a cultural <laughs> shock it hit me differently like, i've never gone to a country that is so hot like china yeah. no one no one is talking about that i i watch like so many videos before coming here and then when i came that was the first cultural shock for mm, me okay okay it's so hot like ghana was the hottest country after before okay after my country my country is not hot mm. of course sometimes the sun is hot mm. but like it's not hot hot when i was in ghana mm. it was so hot i could not go outside and sometimes i would feel like fainting and i thought that was hot mm. and then i went to germany i mm. realized that germany weather is also hot mm -hmm. it's even hotter than um ghana's weather sometimes because germany they don't have um wind while ghana sometimes it's a bit windy and the humid mm. is a better than germany germany weather is so dry mm. both winter and summer and any type of season is just dry in that country and then i never appreciated germany's weather to be honest and then i came here Oh my god. Mm. In fact from Abu Dhabi I started experiencing hot. Yeah. But China A1 mm. when it comes to hotness, like I could not relate. Mm. I can't wait. I can't wait to go and and, and apologize to Germany. <laughs> I can't wait. I'll as soon as I will land, I will <laughs> Germany, I'm sorry. Take uh, me back, please. Like I was both like oh, Germany, ah, the weather is bad. But this one is it's not just in it, it's not just warm there is no wind it's like when winter um hot fan is blowing you mm. yeah in the whole mm. room then they are fanning you that's how hot it mm. is so how was it for you at coming here when did you, when did I, you came came I came in 2019 what season like cold um, what hot or i came i think it was after summer oh yeah it was after well you summer. have luck i was so, saying, yeah. like no one told me I, I could have come like hmm yeah i would have i think december is the best time to come here 
although it's maybe maybe the way i'm suspecting <coughs> this country everything here is too much like maybe december is, it will be so cold mm. i think um fooling uh, uh, what is fooling spring is the best time to come mm. here yeah because it will be windy a bit lively but summer okay. for me i'll advise anyone that wants to come summer Nah, please don't come. In fact, this is not a holiday destination. Most people, when you say, I want to go to China, be like, China, not just not just that it's far, but because of no one, literally no one will go there for holiday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's a nice and beautiful country. And also, I'm, I will talk about the infrastructure. Was it a cultural shock for you when you came? Oh, how beautiful it looks like. I know Ghana is beautiful. To be honest with you, I was taking pictures everywhere. Like I was like, ah, this this place is very nice though. So like when I came, you know, like the infrastructure, the buildings, like the system, like mm. everything you, you have to scan. Oh, the scanning? Yeah, the scanning. It was like, wow. That's like, the last point I'll come to. It was, I, I'm, you know, in Africa, we are used to be cash. using cash and all that. Yeah. So, but I realized that even when you want to use a metro, if you mm -hmm. have a cash, like if you have a cash, somebody would have to lead you to a place where you can just buy the ticket mm -hmm. and that would take a lot of time mm -hmm. so their cashless system by using a qr code really helps in assessing the metro and the other public transport like you could see that all these things are in place to make life very comfortable and like efficient easy and all that so mm -hmm. It was really a cultural shock for so, me. Yeah, me seeing it also is a cultural shock for me because Germany, everyone knows that it's a, it's a modern country, and but we are still living in the olden days. Mm. Germany is more of letter letter, um, mm. cash country. Mostly things we buy is you use your cash. Mm. Some shops, um, you have to buy more than ten euros. Yeah, before mm. you can use your um electronic to pay. Mm. So that's how crazy it is that you have to use cash almost everywhere you go. Some shop you don't even pay with um electronic, you use cash, like they don't even accept that thing, like those small grocery stuff. And we always use letter letter. I don't know about um China. That one I, I don't have any experience because I'm just here for a few days when yeah. it comes to letter stuff and everything. Yeah. But the cashless mm. country for me I like it personally. I like that everything just make it's like tacky tacky tacky. I wish yeah. Germany was like that. But I think Germany is trying to secure the, the tradition of something, but mm -hmm. we'll see about that. Maybe in 10 years, time, Germany will change. And then the, the other point I will come to that actually shook me when I came here mm -hmm. is the camera, camera stuff. Like, yeah. I will never get used to that. Yeah. Coming and transitioning from Africa, mm -hmm. where there is literally no camera mm -hmm. watching you, mm -hmm. whatever you do, mm -hmm. anywhere you go. Mm -hmm. Even in Ghana, when I went there, like, you will not see camera. Our uncle, cousin, sisters, aunties, particularly cousins, they are like our camera anywhere you go. Mm. But like coming to Germany, of course they are camera. They have it most places in shops. Mm. But China, China's all this double. Like yeah. imagine mm. Germany having cameras mm. on the streets, yeah. shops. China's all like just one shop can have mm. five, six cameras. Yeah. Side, front, middle, top, yeah. even down. If you are wearing scar, they'll take your, <laughs> they'll take a picture of your. <laughs> like it's so so stressful, and it's not. It's, it's not just inside the shop. Yeah. In the um airports, like when yeah. I came, in fact when I landed, like mm. I'm like. Am I a like everywhere you turn? Everywhere that camera is Just yeah. one place, mm. five cameras. Why mm. can you, how can you put five cameras? Just one location, yeah. just one. Yeah. Just two can, mm. it's too much. And the security is too much. Like anywhere you go, you see police, soldier, police. <laughs> Me, since I came to Germany, I've never seen a soldier or police standing there with, like looking at you guys anything chat security mm. like the control here mm. is too much mm. it's like they are fighting invisible enemy mm. Mm. in another way it's so so nice because the place is so so secure mm. so you come in here as a student um and someone also from africa you came directly not mm. like me it's like indirectly mm. Mm. how was it for you as yeah as a ghanaian i would say i would say when i came I also saw um, this camera stuff, like, mm -hmm. but I did not really pay much attention because I, I thought they were not working. Mm -hmm. Yes, until um, 
when we came issues started coming up um, like foreigners were having issues with the police and ah, they would always say that they have evidence you were caught on the camera you were jumping over a fence you were doing mm -hmm. like, ah. so these cameras are around they are really working because you know we in africa we have this mindset Ignorance. that cameras, cameras are just there like yeah it's them. not working yes yes so i literally saw a couple of videos like mm -hmm. footages where people were actually foreigners were caught in the act of um stealing from shops sorry to say this and oh. they were caught on cameras and so um but i think if you have a good home training mm -hmm. if there are cameras if there are no cameras you know that what you're doing is the right thing so yeah. yeah so even when we found out that the cameras are really working and your conscience are, is clear you don't yeah, care because exactly. it's not for you because exactly. you're a good person yeah, yeah, yeah. it sure. should not be important sure, sure. me for me it's not like my conscience is not clear. <laughs> it's just that it's, it's shocking. Yeah. See, coming out as if I, I was feeling so uncomfortable. That's like very true. going out, I'm like, why are they looking? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me come to the last point. Let's forget about the camera now. <laughs> it's like the people too, they are like cameras. Okay, mm -hmm. let's talk about the people because you cannot come mm -hmm. to a country mm -hmm. without talking about the people. Yeah. The people, though, the Chinese people. Okay, mm -hmm. they are on another level when it comes to watching. I thought Germany is the the most country with concussion, like. Congo's <laughs> inquisitivity mm. like German grandmothers they will be staying in their own, they will be in their houses like the windows because German window is on another level they have a different yeah. way of opening it <coughs> they are in they are on their rent they are no longer working pension they will not go to work early in the morning yeah. they know everyone that that is staying in that community they are like the camera they will watch you you think that they are not seeing you they don't know you I was living, yes <laughs> Germany, they will be looking at you. They can mm -hmm. stare at you like as if diamond is on your face. Yeah, when yeah. I came there, like the staring was a lot for me. Okay. And I thought, I don't know. I don't know how to express my feeling. Like mm -hmm. it was so uncomfortable for me. I don't like it. Yeah. And then imagine Germany as a civilized country looking at you as if I don't know. Yeah. And later I got used to their stairs. <laughs> and I thought that's the worst thing. <laughs> and then I I came here. It's like coming from the fry pan to the fire. Here they don't just stare at you and when you stare at them at them back, they will just turn their face or look at another place. Mm. The Chinese people they would they would just <laughs> they, they will stop where they are going. Mm. If they are doing something, they will stop. Mm. And then they will stand, yeah. not just to watch you. And they will go and call some of their family members and yeah. come and watch you. And then they will not just stand there, they will take picture of picture you. Of her, yeah. If possible, they will come and touch your hair touch your or hair, even yeah. touch your skin. That's right. Yeah. And then take a picture with you. Like That's that right. one is the wildest thing ever. Yeah. yeah. I can't wrap my head mm. around that. Especially mm. that you are black and you are a foreigner. Oh my God. Okay. So, it's so painful. <laughs> to touch on that, uh, you know, China. What, what, what was it for you? like that that thing mm -hmm. i also experienced it and uh even at some point i had to report some students to my my mentor like my teacher at that time my former school mm -hmm. i had to tell her that these girls will be taking pictures of you mm -hmm. uh, but yet when you see them in the elevator they will just come out because they don't want to be in the elevator with you because you are black mm -hmm. and i don't understand it. and it was she actually took time to explain to me that it's really a big problem in china like China is, you know, China, the size of China is as that of Europe. Mm -hmm. China is very big. Mm -hmm. So most Chinese people do not like to travel. Although we see them uh, almost everywhere, everywhere in the world, but most of them do not They're like not to travel. Yes, to yes. Because they have everything they need in their country. Mm -hmm. Their system is so developed that they don't. They don't know why they should move around. Yeah. So they They're stay not here. For anything. They can create what they want. Exactly. You have the education, make money, make babies, grow old and die here. Mm -hmm. So when you're a foreigner and you come, they are actually using you to experiment. Like there are few or let's say they have uh, maybe it's like a cultural shock for them exactly. to see a foreigner, you look different. Exactly. From they have them. they have little knowledge about Mm -hmm. people from other countries mm -hmm. um, but you know china is not using google oh yeah they have their own yeah, search yeah, engines and they point. are not on youtube facebook whatsapp and those they have their own um social media platform and sometimes i as far as i'm concerned i think that 
um, they are told what to watch. Mm. So they don't they don't have they don't really have a broad perspective Wide, of yeah. what is happening yeah, in other places. And so the little mm -hmm. idea they have mm -hmm. based they base on that to see other people. So when you come it's like they want to experiment with they want to they know want you to more. Know. They want to they come are closer. So curious. It's like they, it's like they want to get closer. They don't want to get closer. It's like they, they are shy. They, yeah exactly. And they are curious. Uh -huh. And they want to approach you but they don't want they don't to, want to uh -huh. do something yeah. wrong. It's like the curi yes. the curiosity is so much like huh? Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Like the, 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 yeah. it's like I, I said it mm. two days ago, like the country is so civilized more than the people's mentality. Yeah. It's not in a bad way. Mm. Mm. Even my country, I always say that the country, the people, we are civilized more than our country because mm. our mindset as our unions, mm. it's so advanced, but the country mm. is not developed. So mm. it's the opposite here. The country is so developed, but they maintain their tradition and culture so mm. much that mm. they are not exposed to certain things. They right. keep their tradition like if you yeah. see them yeah. you see them as teenagers the way they behave yeah. but even a grown-up man will be behaving as a teenager yeah. but for you like they are not advanced exactly but they they, they, they focus on their work transportation system is on another level in china that's my last point before we switch to another thing okay so for me if i want to compare it with germany and back home i will say back home is better my own country more than Ghana and then Ghana is the worst Germany is the best Germany if it's about marking like students Germany is the one that came first like Germany transportation is the best like you have access to buses they can and bring it in front of your house like everywhere transportation especially when it comes to cheaper transportation like bus you can buy a ticket just for a month you can use it anywhere you go you can come out and go in five times a day if you want anyhow you want it but china what i saw is that not everywhere the buses can go and i don't know about the train i just came i'm, I'm not gonna say something so that's how i'm going to leave him as a student or he has been here he's the your man it was a shock for me because mm. i have been used to taking the bus i don't care when i i travel i like just being myself taking the bus the cheaper way but here they cost they have something like uber we uh, they call it dd mm. yeah, yeah. almost if you want to go almost everywhere as quick as possible it is accessible fast mm. Mm. but it's expensive a bit for my own judgment okay yeah. if you'll be using the dd every time you spend like what you budget is not what you ended up using while in Germany you just buy if you are coming for holiday for a month or for the for a week you just buy like nine euros or ten or fifteen euros ticket that mm. thing you can oh, use okay. for a whole week till you leave that country oh. you move back yeah and that bus can get you maybe the the place the bus will drop you up it will just take you three minutes to walk to the place you are going so okay. like why needing that well here and the buses can also get everywhere and the trains to it's like this. I love their 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 um thoughtfulness in this country. I think I will add that part. The thoughtfulness about the Chinese people when it comes to their packaging yeah. and the train station is A1 yeah. better infrastructure A1. That's right. It can never be compared with any country I've seen so yeah, far, including true. Germany. Like A1 infrastructure. But Germany, when it comes to cleanliness, it will always be the top. Yeah, I it heard always it's be the, the top. in Europe is it's the, the best okay, country okay. when it comes to cleaning. Uh, they they are obsessed with cleanliness. Uh, the Germans, see, they are very see, obsessed with cleaning and efficiency. So that's what I would say. But the transportation, I'm going to leave him a bit to dwell on that because he knows better that, than I am. For me, it's just few days I've been here, but I, I I was actually shocked when it comes to this transportation. <laughs> So how was it for you when you came here? So having access with because I can see it's a bit similar <laughs> with Ghana because Ghana also they have Uber when yeah. I was there. Yeah, boats and Uber, yeah, they are there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um I think I was fortunate when I got here. Mm -hmm. When I got here, the, um, the first day I, I arrived in China, mm -hmm. I had somebody to meet me at the Shanghai Pudon Airport. Mm -hmm. So this guy did everything for me. He, he helped me to change some few dollars mm. into Chinese the renminbi day. the same day. Mm. Helped me to get the the um, the bullet train, mm -hmm. and then I switched to the metro, mm -hmm. and then I took um, the fast train from mm -hmm. Shanghai. Both of you. 
No, only me. And that was that was the saddest part. It just <laughs> Yeah, when he got to your point, he said, Bro, this is the end of my journey. You have to go by yourself. If you need any help, you can never get lost in China. I just ask people around, translate on your phone. So um, before I came, I had my VPN, I had um translators on my phone mm. and so i would i would be asking and i was holding my admission letter so if i see anybody and one thing about them is couple of them when you approach them they really would want to help even when they are busy they will stop what they are doing and try to help, to help you. you yes but there's some to them. yes but there's some when you call them they will just say mm -hmm. you think maybe they don't like foreigners it's because they, they can't speak english and they don't want to embarrass themselves so, so oh. they will just say mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so if they do that you think maybe they are I will come yes yes yeah. so <laughs> that was also a bit of a contrast shock for me but okay. yeah for transportation you, you can never get lost in china if you know where you are going and you have money we can't get lost but is it expensive <laughs> though that's the question um with the accessibility of i know maybe it's because you have not experienced another thing okay maybe for you it's normal because there is the saying that you that you are in this the, the environment mm. you never be conscious that where you are is not comfortable mm. except you moved now i think um do you I, always use the dd or the no bus? i use the metro off and the bus Mm -hmm. I use the metro and the bus, and we got the use a bus. I said bus. So which one is correct? It's bus. <laughs> it's bus. Comment down below. I it's bus. B U S. It's not bus. bus. It's, where is the A? Okay. A B A S. Okay. okay. What about the boss of a company? It's bus. <laughs> 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 it's bossy boss. <laughs> it's boss. It's the same pronouns. Okay, okay. I know you won't miss that disagreement. You always win. So I won't say anything again. Okay. So um what was I saying? The boss. He said you take metro and boss mm -hmm. together. Yes, yes. So um when when you are a city like Hefe, Hefe is um is not far from Nanjing. Mm -hmm. Yes, like um fifty four minutes by fast train in Shanghai. Mm -hmm. Shanghai is very populated mm. and it has a lot of things going on there like it's a busy city mm -hmm. the, the metro system in Shanghai is expensive comparatively to the metro system in um, Hefei mm -hmm. Hefei too is developed so it's it does it varies mm. based on the uh, how do I say this? Based on the activity and how the advancement on the system in mm. that city, it um, affects is a factor that affects the transportation. Factor. Mm -hmm. It's factor. Mm -hmm. It's factor that affects okay. the is this, transportation. Is factor based on uh, population? Yeah. The, yeah. Mm -hmm. So based based on that, transportation will change a little bit. Mm. Uh -huh. While in Germany, it's not the case. Will it still be the same? Like money money yeah transportation related yeah transportation medicine. system is not expensive in germany at like all. everywhere is fixed it's fixed now they even um, bought up the deutschland ticket you just pay one like 49 euros you can mm. use the train you can use the bus mm. and travel for nationwide in germany mm. that was that was what we used coming mm. to mm. Munich, mm. taking mm. the train mm. so mm. this is why i'm going to leave this video mm. i think we are going to do a part two which is going to be very very short but i'm going to stop here but the part two is going to be um some names how they pronounce their name it was a cultural shock for me oh, okay the way they pronounce certain name you come to this country with a nice name like my name wamatsu mm. and they will give you the name they think that they want for you or mm. they will pronounce it in their um their language yeah which is which <laughs> sound quite different from the name they, they have to do it like that to be able to so you have to be shocked <laughs> you come here and be shocked me no one has given me my name but he's going to pronounce <laughs> the way he thinks that they'll call my name in their chinese language and the first time he told me that i was so so shocked in the in the train i laughed out so loud uh, it was so so funny the out turned to l and it was amazing and mm, funny at the same yeah, time so yeah this is a cultural shock for mm. me so I will stop here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Yeah. I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you so, so much. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget to um, follow him on Facebook. He has a, a Facebook page. And thank you so, so much for coming to my channel. You're I really welcome. appreciate you. Anytime. And I was always open <laughs> for you to come. He's my biggest fan, okay? My biggest sure, supporter, sure, sure. backbone, everything. <laughs> so, you guys seeing him, please thank him for me down in the comment section, okay? 
So till next time, <laughs> bye. Drink your water, your medicine, everything. Drink your wood that is healthy. Right. Ciao, ciao. All right, bye.